Now that spike today may come as a shock, but before we dig into the numbers, it's important to remember that each of these cases, each one, represents a person, a loved one whose loss shakes the lives and foundation of their families and friends, like the loss of Sybil Walker, a 78-year-old woman who contracted the virus while living in a nursing home. She passed away April 29th. Today we talked to her son Michael, who says his mother would have wanted the community to come together during the pandemic. I would like people to know that not only was she brilliant, but she also had a powerful desire for good and fairness in the world. And she cared a great deal about taking care of those who needed help 